All right, so this just completely came out of nowhere. I don't know if anybody was actually expecting this. I'm honestly still trying to wrap my head around it, but it's 3.30 uh, a.m. where I live, and luckily I was able to catch this right before I fell asleep. I was literally in bed, about to go to sleep, setting an alarm on my phone, and a bunch of tweets just like popped up on my phone. I was like, yo, what's going on? Something must have happened, like something big. And lo and behold, it was a preview for a int LR Super Saiyan God Goku that's coming to JP. Uh, we don't know when yet. We do know he's int. We have the details uh, courtesy of the Dokkan Twitter page. And we also have the Super Attack animations, which we'll look at in just a second. But uh, first, let's, let's, let's go over to Goresh's Twitter page because, of course, he did provide us with the translations. Huge, huge shout out to the homie Goresh. And uh, let's take a look, guys. Okay, so it's, it's loading. Um, did the release of this information crash Twitter? It's possible, guys. Alright, this is... <laughs> this is crazy. Um, I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on here. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So apparently the issue wasn't with Twitter, but rather my internet. It just decided to die out of nowhere, so I'm actually using my phone's hotspot. But, uh, let's get into details for this Goku. So it's an int. LR Super Saiyan God Goku once again guys and his details Super Saiyan God Goku Resurrected Legend Leader Skill Pure Saiyans or Hybrid Saiyans Category Key plus 4 HP Attack and Defense plus 130% Super Attack is Okay so the 12 key is Limit Breaker Kamehameha Greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage And 18 key is Dragon Smash Greatly raises attack and defense for 3 turns Causes mega colossal damage and greatly lowers defense And his passive is 2 a new stage Attack plus 77% Key plus 1 max of 5 And defense plus 11% uh, max of 55% For each pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category ally Excluding this card High chance to evade enemy attacks and high chance to perform a critical hit for 7 turns from first appearance. So, um, from what I can see right now, he... I mean, it's kind of hard to judge this card because the attack buff is not super high, but he does have a high chance to perform a critical hit for 7 turns. So he's going to be critting quite a bit and he's also going to be evading a lot of attacks because of the high chance to evade. Um, but he's only getting up to 55% defense and 5 keys, so I, I, I don't really know how to judge this card. Like, on the surface, I, he doesn't seem like he's going to be amazing, but I feel like there's maybe something I'm missing here, or maybe some information we're missing. Is he maybe going to be a free-to-play LR, or... I don't know, because apparently he costs, um, it says here, right, right here, okay, 77... Uh, team cost. So usually when a card is 77 team cost, then he is, then they're usually a summonable LR, right? And the leader skill does seem like a summonable leader skill as well, because usually free to play LRs don't have leader skills that are that high, right? 130% is typically a um, summonable LR leader skill, like a non Dokkan Fest LR. And he's also a dual category leader, so that even plays more into the idea that he is going to be summonable. So, 77% uh, attack, interesting, key plus 1, max of 5, which is good, obviously, because it's going to make it easier to get the 18 key off. And also defense plus 11%, max of 55% for each pure Saiyans and hybrid Saiyans category ally. So, um,. I think it's too soon to judge this card. It, I, I don't I don't know how good he's gonna be, guys, honestly. Um, but links are Godly Power, Warrior Gods, Kamehameha, Super Saiyans, uh, over in a flash, shattering the limit. So no fierce battle, which is unfortunate, and legendary power. And categories are Pure Saiyans, I think I'm blocking it, sorry guys. Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, and Realm of Gods. Four categories right there. So those are the full details as far as I can tell, at least according to Goresh. Huge shout out to Goresh by the way for um, the translations. Um, like I said, I don't really know uh, how good he's going to be. I'm sure he's still going to be doing good damage. I'm sure he's still going to be um, just, just a good card overall because of the ability to uh, evade attacks, the ability to get a lot of critical hits really easily. Um, but, I mean, 
<laughs> it's hard to judge it right now, honestly. And it's also really late. My brain's not working properly. I just had to make this video. I had to get it out there before I went to sleep. Otherwise, I would have gone crazy. Uh, but let's like, look at the super attacks real quick. And I gotta say, um, they just keep getting better and better, guys. They really do. They just keep getting better and better. I'm gonna shut up now and uh, let you guys enjoy. And then we'll talk about it in just a second. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna pop back. And let's check it out. Okay, so I'm just gonna let it keep playing in the background while I talk. Um, this is insane. <laughs> like, at this point, we're getting not only anime quality, but I feel like beyond anime quality, at least like compared to Z and Kai and all that stuff. Um, you know, Super looked really good, but it, it, this is just crazy, crazy quality for a freaking mobile game, guys. And Say what you want about his passive, I, I really don't know like exactly what to think about it right now because it doesn't seem like a very... It, it doesn't seem like a crazy passive like we've seen recently with a lot of newer units, right? Um, and you know, it's, it's gonna... It's, we'll, we'll have to see like officially when he gets released how good he is, but the animations alone, I think, are gonna make a lot of people summon for this guy if he is a summonable LR. Like I said, he's most likely gonna be a summonable LR because of the 77 cost and also the leader skills. Um, but I guess there's a very small chance, maybe, that he's a free-to-play LR. I don't really know. I don't really know, but um, I think maybe Bandai was like, yo, we're not gonna give him an insane passive like we've been doing recently for a lot of cards, but we're gonna give him the best animations, potentially the best animations in the game. I think Cooler is still up there. It's it, it's it's a close fight. It's a close contest, but um, it, <laughs> they're just so good, guys. It's so so damn good. Um, at this point, you've seen it a couple times because it's not very long, but uh, man, they just keep getting better and better with these animations. Now, the, for the card itself, detail-wise, um, as I've said, it, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what to think. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think uh, once I have more information, or maybe like once this guy officially comes out, or once he's available on like a private server or something like that. Uh, I would be very interested to check him out to see just how hard he can hit, if he can actually tank. 55% um, defense is not a lot, so I'm guessing he's not going to be taking very well. He's going to be relying a lot on the evasion um, for damage reduction or damage mitigation. And uh, he's going to be hitting hard with a lot of crits because he does have a high chance to crit, but otherwise uh, his attack stats, he is going to have LR stats. I'm sure his attacks going to be very high, so um, I'm sure he's still, still going to be doing good damage. Don't get me wrong, he's still going to be doing good damage. So uh, that's all I really got to say in today's video, guys. Um, LR, Int LR Super Saiyan God Goku is coming to the JP side of the game. I'm not sure when. But uh, it's happening. Nobody saw it. it. Just came out of nowhere, and that's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching today's video. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.